Come to London with me as we take a look at Arsenal. No, literally, come to London with me. I'm heading back to the UK for Premier League Open Day weekend. I might be in London, I might not be. We'll see where I end up. But anyway, let's talk about Arsenal, the Gunners. I don't know any other nickname for them, but I'll just call them the Gunners. So, who have they added this season to the Emirates? What are they going to look like when they line up? Well, of course, you know us at TYT Sports. We're going to show you, and I'm going to break it down. So, uh, before this, subscribe, by the way. Just wanted to throw that in right now, because you want to subscribe for some more stuff. Let's take a quick look at who Arsenal added this season. Who's on their way in? Wow. Huge. <laughs> Peter check. In. So, uh, we know that Peter Cech, as much as he may be only one transfer coming in at the moment, this may have changed by the time that the Premier League season has started, but especially for the Community Shield that has just been played and everything that's going on, Peter Cech, big signing for Arsenal. So, on the way out, the most notable for me, Diaby, who was just living on a payroll at Arsenal, just never really seemed to, to come back to fitness at all, has finally been taken off the payroll. Podolski, who was on loan to Inter, now left to Galatasaray. Uh, Jenkinson out to West Ham on loan. Chesney, the goalkeeper, of course, with Pedal Cech's arrival, had to rethink his career. He's went to Roma on loan. So uh, a few people on the way out, not so many people on the way in. Questions will be asked if Arsene Wenger does not strengthen and add another player, potentially another striker this season. But more so, what do Arsenal need to add this season? What do they need to add to put up this title run to, to challenge the likes of Chelsea, Manchester City, Man United, who have just added this, uh, some more players. We want to talk about that because I think that Arsenal have the recipes for success. I just don't think that they have the right cook right now. And I'm not just talking about Arsene Wenger because I think he is a good manager, although I do think they need a, fresh, a breath of fresh air in the coming years. This, I think, might be his last year. But they need the right cook to lead them forward. I don't see a leader in this team still. I would have liked to have seen someone really influential being brought in. But don't get me wrong, they have talent. They have abundance of talent. So let's look at what I think their starting 11 will be. So this is a formation I have in mind, 4-2-3-1, but it's very uh, interchangeable, I would say, between uh, the players that are playing in these certain positions. But I'm going to start with the back four. So this is a player that I think is going to be like a new signing, Bellerin, because we, I, I was critical from him at the start. He was a little bit immature the way he would dive in. But boy, is that, is that kid fast. I said boy and kid. I was going to say boy, is that boy fast. But Bellerin, quick. He, has, he didn't dive in as much towards the end of uh, Arsenal's season. I think he looked a lot more comfortable in there. And, and I think that he'll be definitely a revolution in that right-back position for them. And I think that he'll go on to do great things with Arsenal. He's got that attacking frame of mind that Arsene Wenger loves, especially with his full-backs. I think the centre-back position is something that needs work. Because if Mertesacker is going to be starting every game this season, I'm worried if I'm an Arsenal fan. Because we, you know of my harsh criticism of uh, Per Mertesacker, but vice-captain... He's still a player that Arsene Wenger loves a lot, puts a lot of faith in him. But Gabriel, from what I've seen and from what I'm hearing around a lot of the tabloids, he's looking like he might be more of a prominent feature next year. I think that could be a positive sign for Arsenal because Mertesacker, for me, uh, is past it. He's too, he's too slow, especially in that fast-paced Premier League. He's good for a consistent basis, I guess, when him and Koscielny are playing well together. They look strong, but when you come up against a very quick striker like many of the players in the Premier League now, ha now have, when you've got Diego Costa, who's quick and physical, you've got Lloyd Remy, who can come in there. With Manchester United, you've got Rooney, who will play right up against them. I didn't think that Mertesacker plays well against those counter-attacking, physical, quick teams. So I don't know what's going to go on with him, but Koscielny, you know, keeping him fit is huge for Arsenal. If he's fit, he's going to be in there beside him, playing as a starting centre-back. And Monreal, probably Arsenal's most improved player towards the end of the season, I have to say. Um, he definitely adapted better to the Premier League in the second half of the season, so I think he'll be comfortable in there once he replaced Gibbs. I think that he was the starting fullback for Arsenal and will continue to be. This kid, another. He's a kid. I don't know why I'm calling people kids, because he's probably older than me, but Coquelin, he was like a new signing as well. Getting him in on loan from Charlton, acquiring him this season, he's going to be huge for Arsenal because he fit into that holding midfield role Perfect, and I think that's exactly what Cathola needed to push forward and be more attacking, be more creative. Because when you had uh, Ramsey and uh, Coughlin in there, sometimes both of them a little too defensive minded and they were moving up, not interchanging as well. But Cathola added a little bit more aggression to his game. That's why I think he'll partner him in centre midfield very well this season. And what that'll do is allow for the, 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 the inconsistent Ozil to have the best possible chance to have a great season. It's still a die for Ozil for me. That amount of money 
I'm going to slap my gavel down in my hand and say that it needs to be done this season because the money paid for him coming in, some games he looks just brilliant, he looks magnificent, majestic, whatever you want to call it. Some games he looks like he doesn't want to be there. Stoke in the rain, he would rather be sitting in a, in a beach in Madrid and be soaking up uh, the sun as well as taking that paycheck that he had there. So I think when it comes to Ozil, you need to expect more from him this season. I think he needs to be on form if Arsenal are to put up a good title challenge. Ramsey and Walcott, interchangeable. Walcott just signed a new deal, keeping him fit again. I would imagine he would play a lot more this season, but Ramsey can play in that wider area, tucking in. What you might see is Ramsey tucking into the middle, Cazola making overlapping runs, maybe Ozil coming out wide, cutting in onto his left foot. And Alexis Sanchez, he's got a lot to live up to. A successful Copa America campaign for Chile. He's tasted silverware there now. He'll want to taste it again for Arsenal this season. And I think he's going to be essential. I think with Alexis Sanchez, what you might see this year more so is if Giroud dries up with the goals, I think you might see Alexis partner up top with Welbeck. Two of them are strong, physical, play off well with each other. I think what you see with Alexis and Vargas, who just disappeared at QPR but looks pretty good with Chile, is he works well off of him. Once he's got that star strike, that, that, that man to hold up the ball, Alexis plays so much better when he's playing off at that point rather than getting into his feet on himself. So I think if you put him up top uh, with Welbeck, he might work well with him if you go for two strikers. But at the moment, I think this is a safe bet. You've got to count on Giroud coming back consistent, firing in the goals. If you get Giroud comfortable, happy, in the box, scoring goals, could be a successful team uh, season for Arsenal. I still think they might add another player or so before the, uh, the transfer window closes, before they go into the season. But I think this is what you're expecting. This formation definitely, as I said, you might drop back and have more of a 4 3 2-1 in terms of uh, they'll have three deeper midfielders where Ramsey might tuck in, allow Ozo up there. Um, a 4-3, yeah, 2-1, sorry, should I say. But you never know. Arsene Wenger likes to tinker with some things. We'll see what they do, but this is a, the formation I would go to. So uh, what do you guys think? Where do you think Arsenal will finish? I'm going to put them fourth, I'm afraid. I just don't know if they've added enough star quality in terms of, uh, a, 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 I would say, a, a captain-like figure in the middle of the park. I think Schweinsteiger going to Arsenal would have completely changed my perception, but he went to Manchester United, and now I think that's enough to put Manchester United up there as clear title challengers. If Manchester City add De Bruyne to their team, which I'll talk about them in their previews, check that out, I just think they've added more quality. I just think that Arsenal needed to make a huge sign, and I think Peter Cech, who I waited last to mention because I wanted to do that uh, uh, specifically, a great signing, a goalkeeper that's a leader and will focus uh, it will, will take a lot of the pressure off of the players at the back because with inconsistency in there with Chesney and whoever else comes in or Spina, I think that with Peter Cech, you know that you've got someone who is stable at the back, a winner. But I just don't think it will be enough to push them into the top two. I think they can still make a run at it, don't get me wrong. But at the moment, in my table for the Premier League season, I'm going to put them at fourth. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, come over here, subscribe to TYT Sports and tweet me at Francis underscore Maxwell and at TYT Sports.